Hey y'all, Noons here. And if you're a loyal subscriber, welcome back to Noons Airborne RC. And if it's your first time here, go ahead and smash that like and subscribe button so you can get notified for future content. Well, everybody, before I begin, I would just like to thank the community out there and all the viewers um, with all the nice comments that I've been getting out there, all the feedback uh, for the videos, especially on the turbine side. It's glad to know that uh, these videos have been a help out there. Like I said, these videos are from the beginner uh, viewer aspect of it, not from the professional. So you will learn from my mistakes. Uh, thanks, everybody. Keep it up. Let's keep this channel growing. Um, now that all that said and done, um, I did mention a little while back, uh, when I got the wing that I was going to get into some FPV stuff and, um, uh, I meandered on it for a little bit, but I went ahead and I dropped that hammer and I dropped it hard y'all. Um, some of the stuff's been coming in. I did get a little, uh, trial, uh, aircraft to go ahead and get into the FPV thing. I used one of my buddies out in the field and I, I think I kind of took to it very well. Other than splatting on the ground, yeah, landing's kind of hard with that kind of stuff. But, uh, well, the aircraft I went ahead and I got in, guys, um, got a lightweight quad. I'm not really a quad kind of guy, but I think it would be a good thing to get into the first viewer. Um, I went ahead and I picked this up from Progressive RC. Um, they're out in Washington. Uh, they got a lot of airplane stuff. Uh, shipping is really fast. So, guys, without further ado... The Team Black Sheep Tiny Whoop. I went ahead and I picked up the Bind and Fly uh, model. Uh, this is going to go ahead and bind to my Radio Master TX-16 under the Frysky Protocol D-16. So um, let's go ahead and let's open this bad boy up and see what came in. it. Get some! All right, guys, now this is the Tiny Whoop Nano from Team Black Sheep. Comes in a nice little case right here, nice and self-contained. But I uh, went ahead and I did get it from Progressive RC out in Seattle, Washington. Shipping was fast. I got this thing in four days from there. Um, one day was just because I was not home to get it. So let's go ahead and open this thing up. And they show you the meat and the potatoes right off the bat, guys. Go ahead and pull this bad boy out. Oh, all right. So it looks like we get a replacement uh, canopy. Uh, it's covered in plastic, nice shiny black. The camera goes in right through there. And you got your little drone. Nice and light guy. This is a uh, brushed. Uh, went ahead and I picked this thing up. The whole thing you see here for $99.99. Uh, motors, the whole thing, got the camera, um, the whole knot uh, from Team Black Sheep. Runs off of a small uh, 300 uh, 1S battery, comes with a little charger, we'll see here in a little bit. Put that off to the side. And underneath, guys, it looks like we got our little USB charger. Comes with a T Black Sheep graphene battery, 300 milliamp hours, 1S. Got a 60C burst and a 30C discharge. Not bad. And get a little set of replacement uh, rotors in the white. Not, to, not too much to it. So guys, let's go ahead and get this thing bound up. And let's see it fly. Alright guys, a few more things uh, about this. It's a 55 millimeter motor to motor uh, size. So 55 millimeters from motor to motor. Uh, the weight on it is 18 grams dry without the battery. The video transmitter, it's the Team Black Sheep Unified Pro Nano, and it's set at 25 milliwatts at 5.8 gigahertz. It's a 700 TVL camera right here in the front. The motors on them, you get four of them. They're 17,000 kilowatt. They're just stock motors. The flight time, uh, about four minutes. I'm going to say about... 
three minutes, three minutes, 30 seconds of spirited flying, but we'll see. Uh, like I was saying earlier, the receiver is a Fry Sky D16. Uh, the battery is a 1S300 TBS graphene. Uh, basically any 1S300 will be compatible uh, with this guy right here. It also has the uh, turtle mode. So let's say you crash and it lands right here. You can have it set on a switch or a momentary switch. So you can go ahead and wiggle the aileron or the elevator. I know it's used, they call some other term like yaw or something in drone guys, but I'm not a drone guy, so don't chew me out. But back to turtle mode is it will turtle and it'll flip right over so you can go ahead and take off again, not have to go find your drone. But that's pretty much the tech specification, guys. Um, let's go ahead and get this thing bound. All right, everybody, I have my radio set up and I went and I got this thing bound, but I had to show you guys this. What a pain. So if you see the camera's right here and it's facing this way, right here, do you see that gold thing right in there where the toothpick's at? That's your bind button. Oh man, what a pain to push this thing down and have this hook this up. Uh, I had to have my son help me. So if you guys go ahead and you're binding this thing, the binding button's right down in there. And it's, it's definitely going to help if you have somebody help you. Just a little FYI out there. Okay, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and show you my transmitter setup um, on it. I went ahead and I built my own. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. All right. So got my little cute little picture. Um, got my switches all set up. I set up for a three minute and 30 second flight. So let me go ahead and take you guys to my monitor. And there you guys go. So basically channel one is the aileron which is roll and you can see right here on my monitor channel two is pitch elevator channel three is your throttle channel four which would be rudder um that's yaw that's right there just like normal so it's basically a e t r or roll pitch throttle yaw if you're a drone or helicopter guy uh, channel 5 is to a 3 position switch and that has your angle, your horizon, and your acro mode. I have that right here on my uh, SA switch. You can see that on channel 5. On channel 6, that's your VTX control, 6 position output. I have it right up here to my rotary dial. And that's basically to flip you between um, your UAS positions for the different channels that it broadcasts on. Uh, channel 7 is your arming on a two position switch and I have that right here and that basically will start spooling up the drone and shut off the main rotors. Uh, turtle mode, I put it on a momentary switch right here and that's on channel 8 and you can see that activates and then you basically will move your stick around and you'll get that thing to turtle over. So that's basically it guys, channel 1. Aileron or roll, channel two, elevator, pitch, channel three, throttle, channel four, rudder, yaw. Channel five is for your flight mode. Channel six is your VTX control. Channel seven is your arming and channel eight is your turtle mode. Once you got that thing set up, you can go ahead and get it down and get it to bind. And to do that, you're gonna go down here Slowly but surely, select multi for your internal RF mode, Fry Sky and D16, and let's go ahead and get this thing bound. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take this bad boy off. Bound.
Very stable. All right, guys, let's go ahead and land this and I'll show you what this turtle mode's all about. Disarmed. Hey guys, let's say you crashed and you landed on the back. So we, oh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna enable turtle mode by a momentary switch and we're gonna rock it back. So as you guys can see, not a bad first, the little FPV quadcopter. I got it right here, uh, charging the battery uh, 100%, so I can go ahead and just start putting her around. Uh, turtle mode didn't work quite as well as advertised. I might have been doing something wrong. Uh, might have been the battery didn't have enough oomph on it, but I'll let you guys know how that goes. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and stay tuned. More stuff coming down the pipe. Noon's out. Awesome.